rotation a little bit. So you're into umpire bashing again. Okay. No, no, we just changed the tack. Oh, beautiful tackle by Abernathy on Larkin. The ball spills free. Still there to be one. McDermott. What did you call him? A good workhorse. He is Lee. Spargo. German. Short kick by German to half forward. Now there's an advantage rule paid here. North Melbourne's free kick. Carey tries to get onto the left foot. They're breaking down though. Hart. He's doing well, Bickley. And Adelaide will get clear through Bickley, as Don said. And he played a couple of games. Been playing mainly up on the forward line, but they've brought him down the ground early, which is good. Filky. Tregenza. Filky, their only goal kicker. And what a gem it was. Down towards full forward. That is a mark. Jamison, well within kicking distance. You can see the distance he has to kick the ball, about 40 metres. Hodges, I think, probably playing at half forward flank, Don, is he? I'm just trying to pick up Hodges. He's fair way down he's the ground. Standing yeah, out he's standing at, way. Standing at half forward. Ma Michael Martin's picking him up, actually. Back with Jamison. Slight angle, 40 metres out, should get the distance, oh. which he has done. Accuracy leaves a lot to be desired. In fact, it just scrapes in for one behind. I just definitely started it yeah, at full forward. But uh, Allison kicks in. And Spargo takes the mark, covering a lot of territory in the first quarter. Under 11 minutes left in the turn. Spargo to the half back line. The players set themselves. That's Gallagher. Three or four bites of the cherry, and he took it. Michael Gallagher, much needed height to that North Now, is that a slips catch? No, no mark. It was Fairley. Back it comes towards Fairley. Dragged off the ball and he soccers it. Quick kick is by Scott Lee to the half forward line. Roberts playing in front. Has taken the mark. And that player has really slimmed down since he played with the Brisbane Bears. And immediately plays on. Great improved player, Mark Roberts. Nice pass. Spargo raffles it with Martin. Then gives it back to Martin. Michael Martin, a beautiful kick. McCarthy. Great kick. Good lead. Now, the lead is also on third and third. I think McCarthy will go for the long bomb here. Well, he kicked one from this distance before. First goal of the game. Siding player, is, as Don said. One goal he kicked from right on 50, John McCarthy. There's the drop, par, the swinger, and right through the middle. Nine and three-quarter minutes left of the opening quarter. North off to a good start. The leader taps down. Chandler's kick is high, and he travels about 12 metres. The umpire calls play on. Didn't think it was a mark anyway. Clue, Clue takes it and decides to play on quickly. Good play. So maybe Adelaide can get the, the quick reply. This is Murphy. He was their principal goal kicker. Against and killed the Murphy. And as we've already mentioned, from North, formerly of North Melbourne, kicked two goals against and killed it. Well, they only had four for the <laughs> day, Don. They did have to have a kick many to be their main goal kicker. Murphy from 45 out. Gets underneath it a little bit, but a good kick accuracy wise, it's a goal. And that's just what they wanted, a very quick reply. Filky won and Murphy won for Adelaide. Their goal kickers, they trail by two points. And they're doing well, Adelaide. They're doing really well, especially across half back. They're getting their ruckman to drop in there. They're running the ball out well. Bickley's doing well, Abernathy. And when you've got forwards down the ground who can convert, it really does reward the fellows for their work further up the ground. Hodges has been a little bit of a disappointment. We mentioned earlier he has been moved to the half-forward flank. Yes, I don't know whether that's a great move. I don't think he's a natural half-forward. There's McDermott working hard, as he always does. Klug's been good so far. That's Marshall. Oh, oh there's a free oh, kick, umpire. Me. Yes, oh. he saw it too. Good umpiring, good position. He was side on. A lot of that goes on there. What happened oh, there was that Roberts, out of picture, had hold of Murphy. There, or you can just see it. That's a good uh, camera shot there. Well, great camera shot Peter, to see. That was just exactly what did happen. Last Peter Sumich, if that goes on after last week. But here's Murphy from directly in front for his second. That's a nice looking drop part. That is a good kick. It's a goal. Crows in the front for the first time, and maybe umpires are just onto those infringements. There have been a lot of them this year, which Peter McKenna has pointed out, being a former full forward. <laughs> uh, they have uh, missed a lot of them. Tregenza's hand pass. On the bottom is Jeff Chandler, who's known as Movies. For obvious enough reasons, bounce will take place just off the edge of the centre square. Seven and three quarter minutes left in this term. It's going to be a pretty crowded sort of a bounce. Mikan 
and Gallagher. The umpire can find room to bounce it. One by Micken. Hand pass comes out of the direction of Tregenza, who spears the pass in towards half forward. Roberts fumbles. Oh, that is a high oh, tackle, oh, is it not? Through. Everybody saw it except the umpire. Snapshot for goal by Jamison. Doesn't bring it around enough. Oh. Marking contest and McDermott nearly brought down a screamer. Delina, who's having a dream start here at the MCG. Abernathy. North fans looking for an on the shoulder free kick. And there's Delina again. Coming in for position number nine. In fact, make it number ten. His kick is to centre wing. Micken and Gallagher. Frigenza. Into the square. Roberts does well. Fairly. Two Adelaide players in the bottom. Klug and Murphy. Roberts. Good tackle. Oh, no one's getting it out of there. Jamison finally gets boot the ball. That's a pretty good snapshot for a goal. 4-1 to 2-3. Two, three. three quick goals to the Crows and they lead by 10 points. Well, it's good to see the players go back and acknowledge the work of Murphy. Now we'll just see it here. There's a tackle one. There's the good tackle by Murphy. See how he dispossessed, brought the fellow down. There's also a lip tack, Matthew Lip tack involved. And Jamison was on the end of it. Good play by Murphy. Great start by the Crows. North Melbourne have started badly in the last couple of matches and come home with a wet sail. There's Larkin. Can't get his boot to Ooh. it, or is that a free kick to Tregenza? Umpire said no, as both bouncing on top of it. That's a free kick to North. And I'll go to Jeff Chandler. Greatly improved player, Chandler. And he kicks high to the half forward line. Players have to wait underneath it. Darrell Hart. Six goals in the first game of the season. Now he gets it to Filky. The danger. They've got some good centre line plays. Umpire's poor play. That's a free kick. Yes, holding the man. Good umpiring. It was handballed away by Filky. I thought it might have been 50 metres against Spargo because he did encroach over the mark, but the umpire said play on. Brantley Filkey played at Collingwood. That's a poor kick. Straight to Carey. Here's McGuinness trying to tap it on. Stevens might be, might be tagging McGuinness. It'll be interesting to try and pick that up. He's playing him very closely. McDermott's worked hard, Don, early in this game. Yes, that was a courageous effort before, Peter. You called it when he was running with a flight of the ball to take it yeah. overhead, but he's also getting there and shooting out a few hand passes. Centre wing. Oh, it must be 18 players in that pack. It's tapped on by Filkey. That's Allison. Can't get his boot to it. Again, it's McGuinness to the half-forward line. Mark Roberts not having a good night. He's got Murphy to beat. Murphy did it well. Gets it on to Klug. Klug goes wide. Here's a chance as it's hooked back into the fray towards half-forward. It's taken away by Peter German. German goes short. He's found Delina. He's having what a night he's having. Delina to the half forward. It looks like all crows. Bickley, the diving mark, and he's taken it. Good mark at half back. Playing on ruck is Bickley. The right half back flank, and he kicks to centre wing. Martin will go the spoil on Hodges and does it well. Ramiro, good tackle. Hart, the ball spills free. Could have almost been a free kick. On pass says play on. Micken off the ground. Tries to find Marshall. Couldn't do so. This is Larkin. Larkin on the edge of the square. Kicks up towards half forward. Carey. Breaks clear after McCarthy fumble. 40 metres out, directly in front. Shoots at goal and has put it through. Adelaide lead by four points. Micken doing well. Gets it to Kluge. Ridden into the ground. How will the umpire see that? He sees that as holding the ball. Oh, really? Uh, this is fairly playing on Kluge. Now he kicks to the half-forward line. The lead is on. That was Longmire and Ramiro trying to get it out. Oh, he held it a long time, Jose Ramiro. That's got to be holding the ball, and it is. The Crows changing out of the back pocket. They're Rovers. Hart's running with Ramiro, and Bickley's running with Rock. Well, they've done their homework. Graham, certainly Graham Corns has his Daryl Hart to the half-forward line. I'd like to see Hodges close to the goal, but there's a nice hand pass to McDermott. Towards the half-forward line it goes. The short one is on, and that's a good mark taken up there by Murphy. Again, he's creating all sorts of problems. He's not doing too bad on the half-forward line, Hodges. He's shooting in a couple of hand passes. He's at least running straight at the ball. And that's a strong mark, a good mark. A lot of pressure there coming from Roberts. Well, Michael Murphy's kicked two. He will kick from 47 metres. Well, 50, in fact. Oh, beautiful-looking drop punt. This might be a goal. What a great kick. Yes, it's home. 
Three goals to Murphy, and Adelaide hit back again. 5-1 plays 3-3. And as Murphy was lining up and shooting his third, a change was made on the bench. Smart coming off, McIntyre on. And that is a good kick from 50 metres out. The players kicking particularly well tonight. We've seen McCarthy down the other end, locked two from the 50, and it was Murphy that time. Three minutes left on the opening term. Ten points the difference in favour of Adelaide. Crow's doing well in the latter part of this term, especially with Murphy. Delina again, what a dream start he's having. This is Tregenza. After Larkin's hand pass went astray, Martin will go to spoil. A big fist over the top of Murphy, but he's given away a free kick. And Don, that surely was Tiggy Tuckford, was it not? No, I think I've got to agree, Peter, with the umpire on that occasion. We'll, well see this. Look, much, look, see, it? there is the arm. It was the right arm initially. All right, well, let me ask you this. Are umpires looking more for infringements up forward than they did in the first four rounds <laughs> of the season? <laughs> Who'd know? You'd have to be privy to their uh, meetings, I suppose. Well, it certainly seems that way, doesn't it? 40 metres out. That's not bad. He's got another one. That's four goals in the first quarter. He's doing a Tony Lockett. 6-1 to 3-3 and a dream start by the Crows. They lead by 16 points. Well, it's an unbelievable start, isn't it? You see there two former teammates in screen, the two coaches. And there is the infringement. Right arm over the shoulder. And although he punched the ball away, he did infringe. The umpire's cracking down on infringements against the full forwards and Peter McKenna has a smile from ear to ear. Back to the centre, good start, and Mickens setting them alight at those centre bounces. He's been good again. There's Hodges working hard too, good play. German gets in a hand pass. They're working it so much harder, the Crows, today than they did against St Kilda. That was Abernathy trying to get it to the half-forward line. German, a hurry kick. But it goes straight to Bickley, to the half-forward oh, line it goes, and that's a good mark. No that... mark to Fairley. Well, that's terrific. Oh, terrific that's effort by Fairley. Peter German. It's wide. Spargo running back with the flight. A difficult mark. Tapped on by Scott Lee. Goes to get it again. Spargo. Ramiro. The lead is on. Out comes Longmire. Maynard is there to lend a hand to Bartlett. But North Melbourne still there through Longmire. Gets it to Ramiro. Ramiro swing onto the left foot. Kicks in one. A goal. It's a goal. Yes, an amazing goal to Jose Ramiro. Fourth Melbourne's fourth, and they needed that one. 4-3 to 6-1. Well, I thought that uh, Longmire could have given that off a little earlier to Ramiro. He attacked the ball long, or well. Here it is there. Now watch if we can see Ramiro come in there in screen. I think he could have given it out, but he did on a second chance, and what a kick for goal. Look at that, the right break. Well done, Jose. Back into the centre. Much needed one for the ruse. Nickin. A long knock-on up towards half-forward. This is Liptak. And a clever slap forward. McGinnis, who's been quiet at the opening term. Can he cap it off with a great left footer? It's going close. And it might have scraped through for one behind. Now, Martin claiming he was held that time against Murphy. Well, Murphy will be trying his heart out tonight because... Let's take a look at that again. Look, see the holding. Oh. See, oh, that no, really is infuriating. Look, Martin... Re in he just pushed his arm <laughs> he out of grabbed it. hold of Murphy's jumper no. there's Martin who moved out well to half back Peter German kicks straight down the ground is there time for another score Abernathy and Larkin Marshall some soccer tactics he's been watching Australia and New Zealand and that's out of bounds on centre wing that young lip tack's done a couple of nice things too he gave a beautiful pass earlier in the quarter to uh, Murphy and he's looked quite quite impressive around that half board area Gallagher gets better position off the ground from Delina who's had a dream start fortunately not too many of his teammates were in the same category and the ball over the boundary line with just a few seconds remaining so we probably won't see any further scores in the opening term Micken and Gallagher, great deal so far. That's a real wrestle, that one. And there's the siren. Great start by the Crows. They lead 6-2, 38, 4-3, at quarter time. And for the Ruse, McCarthy has two, and singles to Carey and Ramirez. 
Today's game is part of the Carlton and United Breweries 1991 AFL Premiership season. Graham Corns, I dare say, are pretty happy with the effort of the Crows in the opening term. And Wayne Schimmelbush had plenty to say. In fact, still is having plenty to say to his charges during the first five-minute break.